Hi everybody, this is Mr. Zarzak, and in this tutorial I'm going to take you through your winter break homework, which is movie physics. To access the assignment, you'll get to it through Schoology. So you can see here I have it third in my list, so I'm just going to click on this. And I'll need to go into preview mode since I am an instructor, but this, when you open, will take you directly here. And you see that you have as many submissions as you like, so you can resubmit your answers until you're happy with them. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Start New Attempt and open the assignment. All right. So the idea is by the end of the assignment, you're going to write a very short essay that identifies a physics concept in a movie of your choosing, and you're going to write a description of uh, that has your understanding of that concept. So to, to get you going, there's a couple things we're going to have you do. The first is to listen to and watch some critiques of movie physics. And so the video below is actually three critiques. The first one is pretty funny. It's from the movie Home Alone, um, but it uses the concept of energy, which we haven't covered yet in class. Uh, so we're going to have you listen to the next two, which is a critique of a scene from the movie The Dark Knight, and then another critique from the movie Fast Five. And all these are done by high school physics students. So it's a good chance for you to just hear uh, what, it like, what it sounds like to have real students attempt to do this. And what we're going to ask you to do is, is in the space below, just to write a few statements as to which of the students you feel did a better job explaining the physics in the scene and give some reasons for why you said so. In the next part of the assignment, we're going to have you watch a very short scene from the movie The Other Guys, and it's less than 30 seconds long, and it shows an example of free fall. Now, underneath, we ask you to analyze the scene to determine how tall the building is, and if you read the steps in the, the question description, it really takes you through exactly what you need to do in terms of what measurements you need to make from the video and what calculations you need to do. So this should be pretty straightforward. And in the space below, we ask you to show your work to determine the height of the building. And then once you've done that, the third question asks you to make some sense of it where you draw a conclusion as to whether the scene was realistic. And then once you do your calculations, I think you'll see it'll be pretty easy for you to draw a, an appropriate conclusion. Once that's complete, that leads you to the big part of the assignment, which is where you're going to pick your own movie and then pick a scene to describe one physics concept from that scene. And you see here in real big type, it says do not include any equations or math. Okay, the mathematical analysis was done in questions two and three. For question four, we want you to take a conceptual approach. All right, now there's some links here to help you. Uh, if I just zoom in on this a little bit, you can see that there's links to this interestingly stupid movie physics, uh, which is a good place to go just to just to read some critiques that have been done by some professionals. So I'll leave that to you to explore. But then this link to this Google Doc that I'm going to open now takes you to the rubric that describes the assignment, so, so how you'll be assessed. And then below, there's also a description of this essay. Now, when I say essay, you'll read this for yourself, but... It's only meant to be about three quarters of a page with a double spaced and one inch margin or more is okay. I'd say ideally about 250 words is all you need. Okay, and then read through this rubric so you know what we're looking for. It's a conceptual essay. It's a paragraph where you're going to pick one physics concept, okay, and write a little bit that demonstrates your understanding of that concept. So, in, for example, in the scene from the other guys, rather than do the mathematical analysis, you take it from the standpoint of, oh, free fall is an object drop from rest, it accelerates due to gravity, which means that it speeds up every second, and hence the distance that the guys fall in the scene would increase with every second that passes because they're going faster. Okay, that's the kind of description that we're looking for. This assignment is due uh, the day we come back from break at 7.40 in the morning. So if you have any questions, please contact your instructor and have a nice break.